That was that, that part, the, the whole little story made me crack up, and now I'm just kind of like shut down. I don't know what to do right now. Um, I got it. <laughs> Did Isaiah say something, say something smart? Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, distractions hopefully will end. God, I'm nervous. Um, uh, the mood has been kind of like down and kind of, you know, sweet and stuff, all the acts that have been going on. So maybe I can change that mood. I hope not to affect anybody's moods too much. But um, this poem is entitled Boulders and Branches. I wish someone would have told me recently, in the weeks to come, your days are going to be... <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I've been from the happiest fool, you guys know, just wanting to woefully sit. Emotions, they feel like a wall when they hit. I've been the worst liar. Are you okay? Anyone who asked me got this response. Yeah, I'm good. You cool? Boss? Yeah, I'm fine. I appreciate those who can see through my pathetic poker face. Each thoughts have been speeding through my head as if it were a race. Each on the grand chase of being the one my tongue designates as worthy of speaking. And for those who ask, I thank you. Here's one thought I want everyone to hear. Benson Orlando Robles is cocky. The statement I've thought after being the statement I've heard, the words I've read, they each have respectively crossed through my head. Those words, they tell me something. Check this. Those words, they hold judgment. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> well, nah, duh. But those words, let me tell you something deep about them. Those words, they don't hold the true judgment of me. Those words, they hold the true character of you. Judgment only correctly embodies those who judge. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right, I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffs lightning, thrown thunder in jail. That's bad. Just last week, I done murdered a rock, <coughs> injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. That's bad, bad. Last night, I just cut the light off in my bedroom. I hit the switch and was in the bed before the room was dark. Words of Muhammad Ali. And you know what comes to my mind whenever I hear that speech? The thoughts of others. Man, he definitely was one of the greatest, the best. Muhammad Ali was no doubt one of the greatest at boxing. But let me ask you, what if I were to boldly state, no one is as amazing as me? Many of you, and I don't know how many, but many of you would think, man, Benson Eric. It's a shame. I live in a time where confidence automatically equates to overconfidence. I gotta say, that's pathetic. It's like you have to be godlike before you can live without judgment. <coughs> Here's the thing about those who judge. Cliches aside, those who hate are going to hate. They're the ones who watch others in race, right? Those who want to be great, fuck you, you make me irate. The worst part is, I listen to those words of hurt. I raped my own actions from statements of Kurt. Well, I'd tell you no more. I won't let myself be a whore, a whore to what others think. If you ask me, if you call me stupid now, I won't even blink. You see, with knowledge there is power, and with power there comes responsibility. Well, you have no knowledge of who I am, so that means you have no power of me, and I, have no, I am not responsible of entertaining you. So forget it, I live free. Free from days, consumed with second guess, trying to impress anyone but me. Here's to living free. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but only failure will ever hurt me. Failure to live up to my expectations, not yours. Thank you.